morning. Today, Wednesday, 14th of October 2015. Paper highlights read by Christina Arul Silvam. First, let's look at the paper highlights from today's newspaper, Daily Mirror. The main headline says, Speaker says code of conduct for MP soon. Speaker Karuja Surya is reported to have told the delegation of civil society representatives yesterday that he would introduce a code of conduct for MP soon. He said this when the March 12th movement, a collective of civil society groups, met him. People actually Free and Fair Election Executive Director Rohan Hetiarach said the movement commended the Speaker on his decision to allow a live telecast of parliamentary sessions. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror will continue effort to eradicate drug trafficking. Ruan. The countries in the region must ensure that the clear message goes to the traffickers that the Indian Ocean region will not tolerate their trade either over the land of maritime routes. State Minister of Defence Ruan Vijayvardhan said yesterday Sri Lanka would continue working with countries in the Indian Ocean region and the Global Maritime Crimes Program of the UN Office on Drugs and Crimes to eradicate drug trafficking and maritime crimes from the region. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror. Venerable Jnana Saru and two others monks surrender to court. Colombo Fort Magistrate Priyanta Lienage yesterday recalled the warrant issues of the arrest of Bodhubala Sena General Secretary Venerable Galagodate Jnana Sarathera and two other monks after they surrendered the magistrate court through their lawyers. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror. The headline says Hangman 14 interview for two posts. The prison department said yesterday 14 applications for the two vacant posts of hangman were interviewed by the three-member panel comprising officers of the Public Administration and Human Affairs Ministry, Justice Ministry and Prison Department at the prison head office. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror. General Manager of Raknalanka said, the General Manager of Security Frame, Raknalanka Manager General Gamini Jayasundara has been removed from his post with immediate effect for giving false evidence during the inquiry held by the Presidential Commission Probing Act of Serious Fraud and Corruptions. The Chairman of the Security Frame, Victor Samaravira said the General Manager had been removed with immediate effect and this fact had been intimated to the Presidential Commission. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Daily News. The Daily News headline says, She made her father exchange his bed for camel. A 42-year-old mother of two in Panchapitiya, Kargol, who allegedly ill, treated her aged father by confirming him at the camel while allowing her pedigree dogs to enjoy all comfort, including her beds, was arrested by Balagala police yesterday. Police investigation prelevered that the woman whose husband and mother were abroad lived with her two children. 73-year-old father. She had said she confined the father to take camel because he used the defecate in the bed and soiled his clothing lining. Another news highlight from Daily News. 8-year-old run over by father's car. An 8-year-old girl died after she was run over by a car driven by her father, Kalmani police said. Her child had been run over when her father was reversing a car into the garage. The child, after getting down from the car in which she was travelling with her father and stood behind it without her father noticing the girl. The deceased was identified as Anwar Sadat Fatima of Lalmone Kuri. The child's mother was sustained injuries while trying to rescue the children. Another news highlight from Daily News, 24 Indian fishermen arrested, says the headlines. 24 Indian fishermen were involved in the International Maritime Boundary Lines in Sri Lanka and fishing in Sri Lankan territorial waters near the Gulf of Mana were arrested by the Sri Lankan Coast Guard with Navy assistance on Monday midnight. SLCGG office also seized four fishing vessels, Navy media spokesman Commander Indica Silva said. Navy sources said SLCG personnel on a patrol craft arrested the 24 Indian fishermen along with four Indian travelers engaged in illegal fishing in the northern seas of Sri Lanka. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, President to appoint national level TU Adversary Committee. President Maitripala Sirisena has given his consent to appoint a national level 
Naval Trade Union Advisory Committee under his supervision. The committee will be headed by the Secretary to the President and Ministers. The President Sirisena gave his consent in this regard at the meeting with the representatives of Trade Union Federation for Justice Society at the President's official residence on Monday. Another news highlight from Daily News, Navy locked police complaint over highly suspicious armed consignment. The Navy has locked a complaint with the Gulf Harbor Police yesterday saying the vessel carrying the consignment of arms for the Avantgarde Maritime Service Limited was highly suspicious. Southern Province Navy Commander Commander Anhira Dilike has locked a complaint with the Gulf Harbor Police. Police media spokesman Ruan Gunasekara said the Navy locked a complaint over the vessel following the initial inquiry to the incident. The Navy initial report was handed over to the Defense Secretary Karuna Senehetti Arachi on Monday. Another news highlight from Daily News, video conferencing for health sector. Arrangements are being made to develop facilities such as video conferencing in the health sector to avoid unnecessary cost and time wasted, Digital Infrastructure Minister Harin Fernando said. Another news highlight from Daily News, next LG poll on the hybrid system. The government hoped to hold the next local government election under the proposed hybrid system, Provincial Council and Local Government Minister Faisal Mustafa said yesterday. Under this system, 70% will be elected under the ward system and 30% under the mixed proportionate system, the minister said. Mustafa said a study on the delimitation of electoral boundaries has been conducted and currently the authorities were discussing the some disputed areas. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. CID tells court LTTE masters leg use four years with the AG. Headline says, the Criminal Investigation Department informed Colombo Chief Magistrate yesterday that they are still awaiting instructions from the Attorney General on step to be taken regarding LTTE spokesman Daya Master and Inspector George Master four years after file was handed over to the AG's department. Another news highlight from Ceylon today, killing of MP Naduraja Raviraj, AG grant conditional pardon to PSD men. Another news highlight from Ceylon today, Tamil political prisoners continue fast satyagraha outside Valikada prison on Friday. The Committee of Protesting the Rights of Prisoners who have formed the National Movement for the Release of Political Prisoners will conduct one-day satyagraha in front of the Valikada prison on Friday, 16 October at 10 a.m. Chairman of the Committee and Convener of the National Movement, Attorney at Law, Seneca Pereira, said that those arrested under the terms of the Prevention of Terrorism Act. Another news highlight from Ceylon today, SLT Director Sling Mud at Chairman attempt to create rift between President and PM. A director of Sri Lanka Telecom is alleged to have provided false and fabricated news to certain media and website with the intention and embracing the and inconvenience the SLT, its chairman PG Kumara Singh, who is also President Maitripala Sirisena's brother and the SLT subsidiary Mobitel Private Limited. We will bring you more news tomorrow. Thank you.